Hey YouTube, Windraiser here today coming to you with another Transformers review. Today I'm going to be looking at Transformers Studios, 1986 Transformers the movie, Slag. I'm going to call him Slag, I know his new name is Slug, but I'm going to call him Slag throughout the duration of the video. I know it's a derogatory term in the United Kingdom, but Slag also means molted metal. That's what I'm going to go with. So, anyways, <laughs> I have one of the f one or one of the three Dinobots that were le released. I have the other one behind me. I have not been able to find Grimlock. I'm still hunting him down. Um, I do hope they do make uh, Snarl and Swoop though. But anyways, enough about that. <laughs> Slag, like, oh my gosh, like. I know they made them for the power of the prime so they can combine to make Volcanicus. And sadly, I sold those ones. I only had three of the guys. I had Grimlock, Swoop, and uh, Slag here. And I really do kind of miss them, but uh, hopefully I can get him repro labeled. Um, but yeah, he's a big, big beefy boy. I do love him. I love the goal here for the tails. Um, up here, which are the faux uh, toes, gold here for the nice face, nice like metallic like blue there for the eyes. Got some grays and some gunmetal grays and some silvers. Most of it's picked up very nicely. Like I don't know how well it's coming up on how well it's coming up on camera, but it's very shiny. Even his eye. So like I love the detail on him. Very nice. Uh, he does have ports on him, as you can see. There's one on either side of his uh, butt, and then one up here. And then he's got two here on the front legs. The only thing I have a gripe about is that his back feet are more squish than his front feet, which are thicker. And there's a reason for that in uh, Transformation. But size comparison of him next to another figure in vehicle mode. Here he is next to Siege Megatron. Here he is next to Titan's Return Quake. Here he is next to Titan's Return Megatron. Here he is next to Titan's Return Dogfight, aka um, Trigger Happy. Here he is next to Power of the Primes uh, Sea Spray. Here he is next to. Give me a second. I'm gonna find another one. Um, Power Core Combiner's Crank Case. Here he is next to Legacy Hot Rod. Seems about right. Here he is next to Siege Slammer. Here he is next to um, Earthrise Blue Streak. And last but not least, here he is next to Thrilling 30, Starscream, and Waspinator. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and get into his transformation, which is unique in its own way and yet fairly involved. So first what we're going to do is we're going to come here and take this part out of the tail, and this will form his gun, and we'll set this off to the side. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the back feet. I'm going to fold this one in and then fold this part up. Do the same over here. And then fold that up. Please ignore that. That's my ki uh, neighbor's kids who don't know any respect to their parents. <laughs> Children. Next, we're going to come under here. We're going to unhook the tail, which is slightly clipped into here. You just unhook it unless it's already done itself. And then we're going to unclip it here in between uh, what will be the robot's knees. So just open those up and then just lift that up. I'm going to come here to the side panels, open these up. And then we're going to take that whole assembly and just lift it up. So we're going to start, come here to the legs. And as we bring them down, you want to bend them at the joint that's here. Not this joint, but the secondary joint. And 
And once that's straight, then you can bend this out, and that will, then you have his leg all straightened out. So go ahead and do that over here. It is hard to do, but sometimes if you can get both going, you can. And we'll go ahead and stand them up. <laughs> so next we're going to come here to the feet. Going to undo the foot here. Lift this panel up. And then swing the dyno leg in. Close that up. Close up the foot. Do the same over here. Sw open that up. Swing around. Close that up. And then fold back. And what I've noticed is that I like how the back of the toes almost look like the dino feet, which I think is cool. And we're going to go ahead and rotate him at the waist. And then we have his lower half all done. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move up to the top here. So next, what we're going to do, we're going to bring the chest here. Open that up. Push this piece of the head up, and as you can see, it is moves separate from this. And as you're doing that, you want to make sure you can disconnect these in the process. Go ahead and undo those. And then we'll be able to accordion this out like so. And once that's out, you can take these panels and fold them down. Come here to the back, take this piece. There are two little clips right here. I have my fingers pointing, and these little clips right here will go ahead and peg into those. And then this whole backpack will accordion up like so. Just like that. I'm gonna come here to his fists, go ahead and fold them out. Do they click into place? Rotate him, his uh, fist at the wrist. Go ahead and bring his arms down. And then we're going to come here to the mouth. It closes up. I forgot, the mouth does move, and there is a port there for uh, fire breath. I do apologize for that. So bring this piece down. Then grab this piece, and that will be his head. Flip that up. Close up the chest. Make sure you are all done. And everything's transformed properly. And there we have Slag in his robot mode. And I really do like this iteration of Slag. I do love him. He's very nice. So go ahead and take a close look at his face. Nice red there on the face. Blue for the eyes. Make sure it'll stay like that. Big Autobot symbol there on the faux mouth. Or the fake jaw. All the way down. Very nice. The, um, yeah, he's very tall. What makes up the backpack does compress very nightly, nicely. He does have his wings. The giant Triceratops on top of his head. Uh, Triceratops head, just akin to the original toy. Very nice. Posability on him. The head is on a bull joint, though. It's kind of like... If you move this, you can't get to it. So, there's a full rotation. Look up and down. You can also use that joint. Thing is that when you move that, you want to peg the entire backpack. Uh, arms can move in and out. I like how they had to fill this piece out. There's a nice ratchet for full 360 degrees. Bicep swivel. About 90 degree, over 90 degree bend at the, at the elbow. Wrists do rotate. You saw he does have a waist swivel. He does have uh, forward and backwards on his legs. 
nice ratchet so they can kick forward that far back that far you can move in and out thigh swivel this is a secondary knee joint the knee joint is right there and bending that it's a pain in the butt but he does have double jointed knees so that's very cool Um, I did say it's five foot swivel. Nothing for feet for up and down, but there is a uh, ankle tilt. Well, it's very, he's very posable. And I suck at posing figures, so. <laughs> he can hold his traditional blaster. Um, my brain just farted, sorry. Yeah, yeah. he is a big bot. For a size comparison, here he is next to Scourge, the R.I.D. Velocitron. Here he is next to Velocitron Burnout and Blur. Here he is next to Legacy Blaster. Here he is next to Legacy Galvatron. Here he is next to Legacy Kickback. And here he here he is next to Legacy Retgar. They did meet on the planet of junk. And last but not least, here he is next to my 30th anniversary, 35th anniversary, Optimus Prime. Uh, sadly, I do not have a uh, ratchet. I do have Wheeljack, but Wheeljack is up in the shelf behind me. And I don't want to get him down right now. <laughs> but yeah. There you guys have it. There has been my review for Transformers Light... No, Transformers Legacy. Transformers Studio Series. Transformers the Movie 1986 Slag. I'm Windraiser, and I'll see y'all on the next review.